Hello everyone, it's me, Big Gay Steve. How you doing? Before we get started, please like and subscribe and hit the dinner bell so that every time I do a video, you'll get a notification, okay? I know y'all can hear that air conditioner pumping, girl. It's hot. <laughs> Fucking Texas. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Look what I got for you guys. This is just kind of a little snacky snack in the middle of the day. It's Saturday. These are some wings that I made with sour cream michelada sauce that I made. And I'll put the link to the video. I put it on my cooking channel, okay, if you want to make it. But uh, anyway, I'm just bored, girl. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to do something. My imaginary husband, he's like, he left me, girl. <laughs> Not left me, but he went to a girlfriend's house. He's like, I'm going to go over there and karaoke, and we're just going to cook some Filipino food. And I was like, why don't you have him come over here? He's like, no. You are in the kitchen now 24 7 filming, doing videos, all this shit. He's like, I don't want to interrupt you, you just have fun. And I'm like, Well, what time are you going to be back? He said, Does it matter? You don't even notice me when I'm here. I'm like, Bitch, please. Which I really don't. <laughs> no, I do. I love him, but he's always on his phone too. But we go and do a lot of things. Every weekend we're always going. So. I don't want to hear that shit. Go to your girlfriend or girl. Shit, you need to. Anyway, okay. So, I post a video on how to make it. This is good. The sour cream. It's got some uh, michelada sauce in it. Some lime salt. And then the, the, the... You know what a michelada is, girl. It's basically a beer with hot sauce. Okay? Then you pour your Mexican beer in there. And a little bit of that in the, in the sauce. Okay? Now, one of my favorite beers is Modelo. Negra, baby. There's some good ass beer, homie. Mmm. Shit. On average, I figure I could probably swallow about 10 to 15 Negras a night. Depends on how hungry mama is. Okay, let's get into these wings, girl. I baked the sauce on there after I fried them. Probably would have been better just to dip it in the sauce. I don't know, girl. I'm just trying to be creative. <laughs> but they look good. Let's try it. Mm. 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 Good. So good. Mmm. A napkin. Anyway, Saturday is hot as hell. I was gonna go fishing, but that's the reason I said no. <laughs> it's just too hot, girl. Mm. Mm. We could have done some bridge fishing where we, you know you anchor the boat under the bridge and get in the shade, but. I don't know, girl. It's still hot cleaning the boat and all that. <laughs> Riding over to the bridge. Mm. I bought <laughs> this grocery store over here. They sell these, what they call, miscut wings. They're super cheap. Like a big ass package of chicken wings is only like $3.40 like they're give them away practically but they're miscut they're they're not the prettiest looking wings <laughs> but most of them are like drumlets like this but since they're miscut there is some bone fragment sometimes because a saw hits that bone i guess it cuts it so <laughs> you gotta be careful so these are non battered and then over here i fried some wings with batter a little bit of batter i don't like a lot of batter what was weird is the 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 sauce when I cooked in the oven just kind of coated the the non breaded kind of nicely, but on the fried ones it almost like disappeared. Girl, I don't know what happened. It went like into the uh, into the breading, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. This is a hot and spicy breading from uh, Andy's, it's called Andy's Chicken Fry. I found it at my grocery store. And, you know, 
There's some interesting stuff at the store. If you look, like, don't just look where you find your shit all the time. Look on the bottom shelf, the top shelf, off to the side, especially at H-E-B here in Texas. They have all kinds of cool little shit, like, like this, you know, special breading you would never know about. All kind of cool shit you can cook food with, girl. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, boy. I love chicken wing, honey. It's kind of hard to mess up a chicken wing. <laughs> I just about dipped that shit in some hairspray and eat it shit. <laughs> Y'all see my last month bang with them ribs, girl. That mukbang did not do those ribs justice. They were incredible. Just so good. Well, I watched the video. I mean, caught them and on the other one, and then I almost looked like I was struggling with them like they were tough, but they weren't. They were good. They were tender. Sure. Just as tender as this chicken. the Mexican family across the street, not the drug dealer, the people that live next door. <laughs> they have some badass parties sometimes. They hire a whole mariachi band and shit. I thought they was about to throw down though, because I seen about 20 cars over there earlier. And um, balloons. Mexican people love balloons. I think y'all have balloons at the funeral. In fact, I've seen them in a cemetery tied to the headstone. Y'all even buy balloons for your dearly departed. <laughs> so whenever I see balloons in my neighborhood, I'm like, oh, Mexican party. <laughs> anyway, they got a balloon. I see the balloons over there, but now all the cars are gone. So I don't know what happened. They canceled the party. Somebody might have got too drunk and fell in the barbecue pit. That happens a lot at Mexican parties. <laughs> I pinned to a few of them, girl. Mm. Mm. I used to DJ, you know, like weddings and parties and stuff, like my own private little DJ business. Well. One of the worst fights I ever saw was between two Mexican guys at a party. It was an outdoor backyard party, but it was for the sheriff's department, girl. All of these men and women were on the sheriff's department. They were all deputies. And these two Mexican guys, they were both sheriff's deputies. They got in an argument over something and they started slugging it out. I mean, beating the shit out of each other right in front of everybody. It was weird as the cop, their cop friends didn't even break it up. They just stood back and watched it, you know, like, well, I guess they figured, well, this, this has been, you know, festering for a while. Let's just let them get it out of their system. But then the house that I was, it was in the backyard. The lady had a cactus garden, like in the middle. No shit. They were fighting and they both fell in that cactus garden and still just kept fighting, just kept beating the shit out of each other. And I mean, when they were done, there was cactus needles sticking. They both looked like a fucking porcupine girl, girl a bloody ass porcupine. I couldn't believe it, cops. Can you imagine that? Shit. Mm. Crazy, girl. Believe it or not, 
I've witnessed that over the years. Cop parties usually are wilder. I don't know if it's because they all just crazy or they figure we're the cops. Who's going to call the cops on us, right? <laughs> so they just cut loose. They do whatever they want. They go crazy at a party. Turn the music up as loud as they want. Fight. <laughs> they do it all, girl. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was DJing one. At, well, it was a small town. So like the police station, the city hall, the hospital, the gun store and the liquor store was all in one building. Like it was all the same building. <laughs> but um, I was DJing one night for a cop party and they kept telling me, turn the music up, turn the music up. And I was like, well, you know, I was thinking in my head because I'm used to, you know, if the music gets too loud, I'm used to the cops showing up and shutting that shit down, you know. And I was like, well, you know, we're going to upset the nursery school on this side. And then you got the gun store over here. They're going to be mad. And then the liquor stores in the back. They're gonna... No, they were like, turn it up. So, girl, I was turning. And then I realized, I was like, oh, fucking, the... all the cops are already here. <laughs> this is the cop party for the small town. Every every community college graduate is already here, girl. Mm. Mm. They were good. You know what? Well, actually, I'm going to stop right there. That was four, three and a half wing. Okay. Oh. Mm. These are good, but I really don't want that to be my dinner for today. Let's slow down, girl. Not like dr getting drunk with a bunch of negras, girl. Mm. All right. I'll let y'all go. I know it's Saturday. Y'all probably got shit to do. I'm like, bitch, we ain't watching this today. We're going to watch it Monday or Tuesday. We get around to it. Mmm. Look at all this meat stuck in my chicken. I love you guys. Happy Saturday. Go have some fun. Go do something fun, okay? First, you know what? You know what you gotta do, girl? Give me a kiss. Other side. All right. Love you so much. I'll put the link to the cooking video if you wanna see it. It ain't no masterpiece. Like I said, girl, I ain't no chef, but I can do a little something, something in the kitchen, girl. I can fry an egg. Shit, I can make some toast. Hell yeah. Gordon Ramsay, kiss my ass. Bye.